Greetings everyone and welcome back to Stellaris to Galactic Paragons, a new DLC coming out on May 9th. This is a sponsored video and I'd like to play a new game and looking at the new mechanics introduced by this DLC, such as the new overhauled leader system. For example, leaders are now divided into levels of rarity and skill and also a new council mechanic where your new leaders are situated and provide valuable bonuses. If you're interested in this DLC, don't forget to check out the link in the video description. Alrighty, before we start, however, with the game itself, we need to choose our new uh, species. In this case here, I'm going with the humans and, um, well, that is kind of boring, you may say, but I, of course, I'm still going with the humans. And we're going with the Imperium of Souls, kind of like a dictatorship. There is a new origin here with the Galactic Paragons that is the Under One Rule. And amidst violence and hardship, this civilization was unified by a single leader. Consolidating power through the repression of weaker factions, they have now become a fierce advocate for science and technological advancement. In the aftermath, an uneasy peace has descended, but peace rarely lasts. And and we start with this here with a legendary ruler who also gains access to ruler traits and this is what I would like to do. However, this one also requires us to have the dictatorial authority enabled. So up here in my in my government and ethics we do need to go into the dictatorial ship, so not imperium actually. And we could actually say Dictatorship of Soul. Nah, we're not doing that. I'm going with Imperium of Soul still. And holds an election upon ruler death to select a new ruler. And we also get some edict funding with that. Also, another thing I would like to do is here, or we need to with that, is the perfected chains. So the leader lifespan is 25 years increased and the leader experience gain, however, is reduced by 15%. Another thing that we now need to choose is the ruler trait, so this is also new. We have now the ruler classes or the leader classes. There is the governor, for example, the admiral, the general, the scientist, the governor, right? So um, all of them have different traits and things available. So the governor can hold charismatic speeches and the admiral, for example, gives us nice boosts to the military and the science, of course, to science boost. Since we're going with a rather aggressive playstyle this time here with Dictatorship and Strong Military Class, we're also going with the Unwavering Aggressors. So ship fire rate is increased by 5%, the tracking and the chance to hit is further increased. So we can choose this trait. We can also choose a negative trait if we want to, um, so that we can add more traits to that. Since I'm fine with all of this, let's save it for the Imperium Soul and start a new game. And so it begins the Imperium of Seoul, our technocratic dictatorship is starting with all of that. We have a strong military force behind us and we are also having some nice scientific boosting. Also, my robotic upkeep is reduced a lot because I would like to go with some robots there as well. And with that, we can actually start now the game right away in the middle of this uh, galaxy here. So the first thing I would like to check out, of course, is the new council system um, that is coming with the Galactic Paragon still C. And as we can see, um, there it is. Uh, we're starting with three councillors or, well, one uh, governor or one dictator, of course, that is, and two, two um, councillors then. And Wallace Packham here is our leader. So he is the boss. Um, he actually has a pretty high upkeep of eight unity per, um, per soul, per soul. Per month, of course, we're not on Mars, so I just played Mars and then you have the soul days. And overseas pack him here gives me some bonuses, so he is a materialist. And also, um, he gives me some bonuses to the ship fire rate and tracking, so this is what we chose, right? Um, we also have then one the web over there and Ursula Saura. We can change them if I like to. Um, however, I think those two are rather good. She's an admiral at the moment in the Ministry of Defense, and she gives me some bonuses to also the ship fire rate and my fleet command. On the other hand, we have the head of research. With her, we get a, an increased survey speed and also an archeological skill increase. So I could switch them around to other rulers that I think are better. Um, some of them give me some better bonuses towards my anomaly researching speed here, which in the beginning is really good actually. Um, however, this would cost me quite a lot of unity. That is something I can't afford right now. So we are rather stuck with them for the moment. And of course, Wallace Packamir can't be replaced. He is, after all, the, the emperor. Or dictator for that for that part we get new opportunities every uh, couple of months so in this case here 26 months before a new agenda can be launched 
Um, right now, we are going for the infinite opportunity. So citizen pop increase by 4%. And we can launch this one up to 10% in 26 months that is that also we can un unlock then more counselors over the course of the game with um completing agendas like expanding the council and with that we can then get even more counselors and all of them provide us some bonuses all right that's it for the new counselor system let's actually just check it out our immediate surrounding as always there's alpha centauri so we are going with our science ship to survey this system right away and i think there's also uh, there's a tundra world not totally ideal but still something to behold also of course researching let's go ahead with that let's actually choose the researching boost here for the the physics for the oh yeah very good let's go with the unity upgrade society planetary unification and also here another engineering output boast on earth itself our capital at the moment our most important planet our only planet that we have i would like to go ahead and boost my my generator district once we have that so in order to get some minerals more in that i need for the districts let's also go in for some trading i think they have switched this around here quite a bit first we're going to build another science ship here with the alloys that i still have right and we still have 100 consumer goods so i can do something with them i can for example sell them if i like to uh let's go ahead and do this we don't need them really i can also sell some food since we are making a good amount of food right now and with the uh, well energy that we get out of that let's also go ahead and purchase us some more minerals 200 we have and with that my construction ship can start the mining station for the energy credits that's 13 more energy in the solar system we still have this available somewhere over there on io we have it and europa also has two minerals that we can exploit out of that very good i think that's fine for now let's unpause the game and shortly after my science ship has arrived in alpha centauri serving now this system this dual star system there is going to be a planet here for us a continental world that we definitely will settle then but first, it go it's going to take a while here. Found. And there is also our science ship already. And as we can see, it's a bit different now with the leaders as well. So in that case here, we have the head of scientists, Ursula Saura. And she is the boss of my science ships, right? So in that case here, um, I don't need to have a, a whole bunch of leaders anymore for every kind of ship, as far as I understand. But we have now the head of researching, for example, that is uh, responsible then for the science ships. Um, the promise has also been overseas. Wallace Packham put an end to our internal strife and brought about the unification. He came to power on a platform of patriotic unity and imperialism, promising to lead us into the stars and create a grand galactic empire. Today, our people grow impatient and dissident voices question our leadership abilities. How dare you? The council has prepared several 40-year plans that will put these doubts to rest. And we do get now the unifying promises situation and unlocks the unifying promises agenda. Situation log updated. Meanwhile, my science ship has finished the Alpha Centauri. Um, we can just have a look around here on my clusters really quickly. So as I can see, this looks like a dead end. Um, up here we have one, right? Where we definitely will need to go and here. So let's let's go ahead. All right, small mistake on my part here. What I noticed now, of course, we still need leaders for the ships themselves, but we don't need um, leaders anymore for the researching, right? So we got Ursula Saura here. She's the head of research, and that's it. There's no more leaders for physicists, uh, society, and engineering, right? So in that case here, we don't need to do this, but we still need the leaders for the ships. Now, for my next scientist, I still need a bit more unity. Since we have a bit more energy, let's purchase some materials to quickly also start the construction of another generator district. We only have one more available job, so that means that soon we'll have jobless people, unemployed people, and we definitely want to avoid this, and a generator district is always nice for that boost. All right, meanwhile, in the situation lock, we now have the unifying promise. In that case here, we have now 478 months um, in order to fulfill promises that we need to do, right, in our first step here. So at the moment, we are um, focusing on internal affairs. This gives me some stability, but it reduces my monthly influence bonus. Um, and in that case here, our promise is that we need to settle on other planets. We should be able to do this, right, for my first stage here. Um, that would lead us then to the finisher effects. I think this is a really interesting mechanic, and we'll just see where it leads us from here on out. After a bit of time, my next science ship can be manned, and we have a bunch of options here. We got Mosi, Colin, and Ilse von Falkenstein. 
Now it looks like Ilse von Falkenstein is pretty pretty strong. First she's got two traits there, uh, the other ones only have one. Uh, she's 41 though, she's a bit older, oh and she's more costly too, so we could wait a bit longer, but that is really just a small, a small time there, waiting some more months for this, because she has the homesteader uh, trait here. This gives me monthly food plus four just from this leader. We have plus 13 right now So this is actually pretty powerful. She also gives me the anomaly research boost of 25% uh, uh, increase So I think I'm going with her plus she's got the voidcraft uh, research boost And she's level 2 already all right out of level 10, right? So 10 is the maximum. She's already a level 2 scientist. Uh, let's go with her And stasis we also get a new anomaly and as we can see, leader acquired, she joins our empire, and I'm here to serve. Tell me what needs to be done. Yes, you're going out there and you're researching or, well, serving some assistance for us. Down here, I would like to go, because this looks like a good joke point here to get as quickly as possible. And the other science ship, once finished with Alpha Centauri, will go up here to that joke point. Now, very good. My first, uh, my Gargarin science ship is finished with Alpha Centauri. Uh, the Imperium Soul is a bus with news of alien organisms discovered some time ago. We still haven't found alien life though yet, but we might be close to that. Alpha Centauri it is. My construction ship is ready for action and let's send it over and build a star base. The first step towards settling on Alpha Centauri. First contact. Also, we shall greet Dixino with open arms. Um, uh, where is it? Where do we find them? There it is, the encounter in Melitan. Up here, there starts the first contact now. It seems like there is a ship, at least, right? I don't think that there is actually a base. Nope, there is not. But we've probably just met Council one of their ships. Ready. Oh, and Council Agenda would be ready now. So as we can see, we do have now an agenda available. We can launch our current agenda uh, that would give me a citizen pop happiness increase that doesn't sound very convincing to me we could also go with a new agenda that we have available now display of power gives me some more influence boost um also some more unity boost i think that is particularly nice because of the new leaders that we're going to need and these are actually the ones that we have right now so around five uh, for the beginning we could give us an immunity boost influence boost a new counselor seat we could also get and a mechanical boost uh, mechanical build boost that is not something that i need right now so i think we might actually just expand the council right i'm torn between the two of them but to be honest the progressive growth is pretty cool because it gives me the 25 percent boost to the robotic workers and it then gives me a mechanical pop assembly speed of 10 percent and 20 percent when boosted also sounds pretty good so, decisions, decisions. The game really starts early of uh, giving you options that you can choose from that decide uh, generations. Let's go ahead with progressive growth. I like the the boost to mechanical speed, uh, to me mechanical pop assembly speed, and also my research boost towards that goal. So, there you go. So, with infinite opportunities out of the way, this is now launched. Uh, we are now going towards the progressive growth, and this is going to take me 184 months before we can reach that agenda. In the meantime, active for another 10 years is now the launch modifier for the infinite opportunities, the citizen pop happiness. So it's the same for this one here then, right? The initial modifier is now the mechanical pop assembly speed and after I think 184 months, we can launch it then to get the maximum boost out of that. However, the launch effect is the progress towards robotic power uh, workers is already active. That's the initial bonus that you get, perfect. Let's also clear some planetary features on Earth. We can do this with 300 energy to get one pop right away that we will need. Also, we have not the best amenity service here right now. Right now, the penalty is not super severe, so I'm going to just go with it because I don't want to go with a the whole theater just yet, nor do I want to build a city district. At the moment, we want to expand a bit faster. Sprawling some uh, slums is now being cleared, and then we might actually think about a second research lab uh, that might be handy for the future. Now, how's it looking there? My construction ship has arrived in Alpha Centauri. Ready to expand. Anomaly found. Right, science ship continues to Yodum, a new system. There's a Tundra world. That doesn't sound particularly promising. So for selling a new planet, that's not it. Uh, we might actually then expand to this system here for the, for the choke point. 
And down here we got another continental world. Hooray! Let's actually survey this here to the fullest. Right? And then we can actually settle there. It's a choke point and a continental world system. So this is pretty, pretty good for us, to be honest. And at size 23, we wanted that. So we have lots of districts that we can build on it. Meanwhile, my construction ship has finished construction of the space station in Alpha Centauri. We can build uh, more mining stations here on Alpha Centauri A right away. Gives me some energy boost. And also, of course, we have now the planet here, Alpha Centauri, that we can colonize. And I would like to do this. For that, we still need 200 consumer goods. We have lots of energy, so I would like to use the market there once again to just get me that consumer good income here. And as we can see, we can easily afford this and build us the colony ship Alpha Centauri Prime. Now soon we'll have enough unity again for another leader, so I would like to also start um, building me another science ship that is going to queue up. However, the colony ship is going to take some time and then we can go for the science ship and then we also should have enough unity for all of that. And there it is, our colony ship right off the bat on its way to Alpha Centauri. The next system has been surveyed, so we're speeding things up a bit right now to build us the next star base on our way to Virdamon. And my science ship can actually go out there and explore some more systems. I would really like to try just to find us a habitable planet here. So I'm just going to move my science ship around in this area. I know already that this is going to be our next system then to target for colonization. And in Melitana, I think it's also done. Here we have Tundra, Tundra Vault. Doesn't sound very promising to me. Also, my next science ship is ready for action. Let's decide on a new leader. Uh, we only have those two available now, Colin and Mosi. Um, Colin is level one, it's both, both are level one. Leader lifespan is increased on this one here. Anomaly research speed is increased by Colin. I think I'm going with the leader lifespan here. That means he can get more experience during his lifetime and thus gets more useful as time passes by. And I would like to go with him, with Mosi. Mosi is going now up here in Trivel, uh, serving that system. And then we are going to explore these last two systems there. There also is a black hole over there. A nice, well, promising gateway to the galaxy for us in the future. Now, meanwhile, Ursula Saura, our head of research, has leveled up to two. Um, and with that, we can give her a new trait. Uh, I might actually have a look at that. She's our researcher, right? So we should keep this in mind. She's also part of my science ship, so she's out there actually, you know, researching stuff. And I might actually give her a boost to anomaly research or survey speed. Let's go with survey speed increase. Oh, Gargorin has found something. That's with Ursula, the Guardian Dragon. Report citing a terrifying space dragon in the Kamina system. Alright. Also, we have uh, finished the first researching. It's getting a bit stressful here. Lots of things that are we that we have. So where's the dragon? He is in the system. There he is. A beauty. Sky dragon, Froskar of the Endless Flame. In that case here, let's get out of that system again. We have no business here, really, and I don't want to risk my scientist. So she is going to move over here and finish the serving of these two systems there. Research-wise, we have the monthly unity boost increase. And Quantum Theory is about to be finished too, but for society we need something new. Um, I would like to go with Pop Growth, I think, in this case here. And for Engineering, Mining Station Outpost is something I like. Minerals from Mineral Jobs is something that I really love, so let's go ahead with that. Also, we can choose our first uh, tradition. In that case here, um, my two favorite ones in the beginning are, of course, Expansion and Exploration. I think I'm going ahead with Discovery, so normally research speed is increased, and we are also boosting our, um, well, researching uh, uh, during this uh, during this tree here as well. Council so let's go ahead. Available. And we, got, we get the chart of the unknown agenda at my council position. So there it is, right? And we must f f fervently chart all the mysteries of the galaxy. That would be something that I can do once progressive growth has been finished. And also we have finished uh, construction of Waiter and also I think this is actually now my yeah, Alpha Centauri we have arrived and we're now starting the colonization process of this planet here and this is also a promise that we have finished with that 
Now, I would like to really finish quickly uh, the mining station here in Whiter, and then we move on already to getting us a star base up in Virdamon, where there is another continental world waiting for us. Ah, uh, we are really lucky today. In Sirius, there is another continental world waiting for us, size 18. Uh, let's go ahead and actually explore the system here or survey it to the fullest, and then we can expand towards it as well with another colony. Physicist uh, or physics research has been boosted by 20% and let's go ahead with the credit output right away with the field modulation. Leader pool has been refreshed so we can choose a few more readers now or leaders that we can recruit in future ships or for the council for example. However, what I can see is we're at the leader cap right now of 6. Construction complete. And there it is also my next star base has been finished or well space station that is and with that the Verdamon system is in our world as well. There's a tropical planet that we can see out there. It's getting really further away from my core city though, but or core planet or core system. That should be fine though. So this might be something that I would like to explore then next with my one of my ships. And yeah, of course my construction ship continues with the mining station. And in Verdamon, I would like to colonize this one here. Once again, we do need some consumer goods. We have a very good energy balance at the moment. So purchasing more consumer goods is no big deal to me. System and Verdamon Prime, complete. there you go. A new colony System ship in construction complete. now. And after that, we'll have our third colony or third planet settled. Alpha Centauri is still in progress. Now, by now, it's a bit busy here with my science ships. We got this one here now in Valimar. It's always nice to find new systems. Always random. Always something different you can find. Even though this looks like a dead world. My other science ship is over here. There's a Tundra world, size 13. Really not that strong. And, of course, we should probably start with the first System survey contact protocols. So, in that case here, let's assign an envoy. We still only have two envoys in the beginning. And I would really like to find out who that civilization is that we found. I think we only have one first contact right now going on. Yeah, the shades up here. Yeah, unfortunately, the next planet that we found, the Tundra world over there, is yeah 30% habitable. So this is really not a good planet for humans. We might terraform it at some point. Or we could also send some machines over there once we can assemble them. But right now, it's a dead planet to us. But a promising one. Oh, look at that. This was not at that end. It continues onwards, right? So we need to keep this in mind. There is a black hole system with an L gate available to us. So we can jump quite some distances here. Beside the site to behold, we need to make sure that my construction ship gets over here then at some point. So let's start building a star base in that system or we go for Sirius right away. Let's go for Sirius first and then we go up here to Trivel and then onwards to the black hole that I will definitely like to take into account. Let's continue then also down here, because I would still like to find me some planets. Doesn't take long to finish the next colony ship, Mozambique, on its way now to our next paradise planet. Just to put into scope how big this game is at the moment, this is the system that we're playing on right now, and this is the galaxy. And after a bit of a while, we should actually finish it now, Alpha Centauri Prime colonization there it is alpha centauri prime has been colonized and with that we have a whole new planet at our disposal so it doesn't have a leader at the moment uh, we could uh, recruit a leader now with some of the unity that we have i'm going to not do this at the moment and we rather focus on a well we don't have a lot of generated districts here so we might make alpha centauri our forge world uh, as we have a lot of industry zones. Let's, however, still start with a generator district. I love that because we do need energy for everything and this is a nice bonus. Uh, do we have anything here that gives me a bonus to something? No, no pops or anything like that. Planetary features, nothing that we need to do. So we just start growing now in Alpha Centauri Prime. I think also Mozambique is really close now. And also we have a transmission from Wallace, I think. Obviously, a Wallace Packham stands in front of a veiled monument. Today we have made history. Never before has our species realized a grander achievement. The people of Alpha Centauri Prime wanted to honor me today, but they are the real heroes of our people. And we do gain housing plus eight, amenities plus eight, and also a positive media coverage modifier. All right, with 10% happiness. System survey complete. Also, first contact, we keep at it. Stage 3 has started. 
Oh yes, this is a very good planet there actually. 70% habitability, not perfect, but still a colony for us at some point. Uh, once again, lots of industrial districts on it. By the way, for Sirius, also lots of industrial districts. We don't really have a generator this uh, world yet. I would love to find one. Complete. All right, minerals from mining has been researched. And yeah, let's go ahead with carry operations. This will unlock us the strike craft, a very powerful addition to my ships and star bases. All right, also my Equinox over there has finished burrow. As we can see, it continues. Let's explore, explore and explore. I would like to find me something of interest. And my construction ship has also finished Sirius. Let's build a mining station here and a research station. We can afford this. And also, we can build another colony ship, this time for Sirius, and that would be ready, actually. Sirius Prime, it is. Also, another leader has upgraded the governor of Earth, I think, is it? Yes, governing Earth right now. Um, let's just check it out. Trade value increase, army building, leader lifespan 10. Let's go ahead with resilient, as army building is not really interesting to me, nor the increase of my service speeding. Or, well, he has the trade there, actually. So the trade value, I don't need to upgrade this for the moment. But leader lifespan is pretty important, really. Some more interesting systems that we find here with an asteroid bell around that. Might be useful in the future. Oh, and we also have the first... First situation here. Encounter in Wackmore. A hostile force is situated here. A military power force. Looks very strange. Alien vessels it is. Where is that? Down here in the far west of my, of my, well, known world right now. So let's get out of it. And we found another tropical planet, though only at 12 size. Nothing really that would be interesting for us right now. Uh, let's explore this system there. Another choke point here, by the way. So we might, eh, it's a bit of a distance there. So Borbo would be my next target there, actually, for a space station. There's also a tropical world on it. By the way, I have totally forgot about Burnout Star, but I think there's no planet here anyway for settling. Nah, so not an interesting planet to us or system right now. Yeah, and so it continues with my counselors leveling up. We are also having our way to the next agenda then here, progressive system growth. System. And we continue on with, with the colonization. So I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek of the new DLC system that system. focuses, well, on leaders, galactic paragons that is really promising and gives you way more opportunities of individualizing your your civilization if you're interested don't forget to check out the link in the video description cheers